everything. All right, guys, we are back in Freak. Oh my good. We are back in Code Academy doing introduction to JavaScript on the functions and scope section. Scope. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, what is scope? If you're new to programming, what scope is is essentially where things work and why. There's different levels of scope. Global scope would be an example of something that would work throughout any sort of document. Then you have you have local scope, uh, which is like just within these brackets, and then varying degrees of scro scopes within there. So um, it's really important to understand scope and how nesting works and things like that because it's a it's a building block of almost any object-oriented programming language and programming in general. So let's go ahead and get started by creating a variable here called laundry room and we're gonna set it equal to the string basement. We're also gonna go ahead and create another variable called mail room and this is gonna be equal to room 1a so we just created two variables. We haven't done anything with them yet. It looks like they want us to console.log it out. So we're going to go ahead and console.log out the vet. The, we're going to concatenate the strings together a bit. And then we're going to put in our laundry room variable here. These are all within the same scope right now. Chances are it's going to show us how things will not work because they're in the same scope or uh, it will, everything is going to work. However, if they were gonna be in different scopes, uh, chances are that they probably wouldn't work. Let's go ahead and run this. You'll see everything works as expected. Cool. Now, we're gonna go ahead and write a function before the console.log from the last exercise. All right, so we're gonna create a function, and in this function, we're gonna have we're gonna name it my my apartment and then let's go ahead and run this inside the function we are gonna write a variable so we're gonna create a, a local variable now this variable is only used within the scope of the my apartment function so that's that's what we're gonna be looking at here it's we're gonna call this mailbox number and we're gonna go ahead and set it equal to the string box three and also if you're lucky enough to have an in-unit laundry we can go ahead and set laundry room to in-unit thing so because laundry room is in our uh outside of this scope we'll, we're able to use it within so uh the way scope works is outside variables you can use within uh, certain scopes or in nested scopes now when you go outside those scopes say you have local variables you can't then send those outside so outside can come in but inside can't come out is basically the easiest way to do it so because we already have laundry room defined in our global scope or our outside scope we're gonna go ahead and just reset the value when this function is called and you'll be doing this quite a lot when resetting uh, variables and things like that so inside the function, we want to go ahead and console. Just to save time, I'm going to go ahead and um, copy pasta this in here. Now let's go ahead and run that. <coughs> now let's try to see the mailbox <coughs> outside the function. So um, <coughs> let's go ahead and get rid of I think I want us to get rid of this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and call the function console.log mailbox number and you'll see that this will not work because we haven't called the function and it's in its local scope you'll see we'll get a reference error here so nothing is displaying although it should have something here uh, reference error that's right um, So if we want to get the console.log, what we can do here is just call the my apartment uh, function, and that should work as well. And then there we get. You'll notice that uh, we had the undefined now that's being displayed. 
everything's working just fine. The end of fine, I think, was from the last exercise. Let's just make sure. Oh, interesting. So for some reason, uh, they just want us to do the other way. Okay, cool. Just go on. Write the my apartment function and move the variables with the apartment building information in the global scope so that line 20 can run. So we can go ahead and just cut all this out. Because these are local variables, we want to make this Uh, global which all we have to do is go ahead and bring it outside the scope of this function and everything should work just fine now if you want to see real quick what it was going to look like before we run it uh, it looks like it's not going to display anything actually um, unfortunately I wish it would actually display that these things are undefined but it's not going to okay so that was scope the real thing that you need to understand is that if you get reference errors, it's because your scope is wrong when you're using it. Uh, scope is basically the idea that some things are accessible within, while the things that are within aren't necessarily accessible on the outside. So you're going to have to learn about global scope, uh, which is accessible everywhere, essentially. Um, but oftentimes in programming, you don't want things to be on the global scope level because it's, it's bad code. So just kind of understand that as you're doing nested things um, where your variables are able to be accessed. And uh, it's, a, it's a fairly simple concept, but an important one in programming. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video if you know someone who would like who needs some help. And uh, special thanks to you who support me on Patreon. It's appreciated a ton, and it keeps this channel going. I appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsor, Dev Mountain. Definitely check them out at devmountain.com. If you're looking for a boot camp that's in front-end development, iOS, or UX, go ahead and give them a shot. Tuition includes housing, so you can get up and go and fully immerse yourself in the program. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.